See, this is how I wash the sea moss. See? Hi family. Today I just wanted to quickly show you how I wash my sea moss. I haven't made sea moss gel in a while, so I'm making it today. This is the amount of sea moss that I'm using, so it's quite a bit. As you can see, there are impurities in the sea moss. This is from the ocean. There's just some nasties, right? Nasties, that's what we'll call them. Okay guys, so this is literally five minutes ago. This sea moss has been in the water for five minutes. Do you see how quickly it expands? So if your sea moss is not expanding, We've got a problem. We've got a serious problem if it's not expanding quickly because it absorbs water so quickly when it's back in its, na its, its natural environment. This is what actually happens. So yeah, so I'm soaking this for a good hour just to make sure it's expanded enough for me to get into all the twists and the turns and to get all the impurities out. And, and then I'll continue with the process and let you know what to do thereafter. See you soon. Most of the dirt is now in the water. There's plenty still left though, like there, I don't know if you can see that. But definitely much easier to wash now. So first I'm just going to rinse it off. And then I'll come back to do another wash. I'm just going to show you what the water looks like so you can see what actually came out of the CMOS. So this is what the water looks like. Oh, that's what the water looks like? See how nasty that is. It's just nasty. Oh. Right, so that's take one. Yeah. Now I'm going to... Oh, I see it now. Get some clean water and my son will help me wash this out. Yeah. I'll be back. See, this is how I wash the sea moss. See? I think it's clean now. No, not yet. Still need to mix it. Do you need to scrub a little bit? You can't just mix it. Yeah, I can scrub. Whoa. And did you look at it to see that there's no insects in there? I did. Did you find any insects? Uh, let's see. Uh, this is more at the top. Oh. Let's sink all these down. There's one little insect and now there's more. There's then the little insects going on here. It was everything. Okay. So what do you know about sea moss? So I know that you, you had to wash sea moss every day. And I know that you had to be put in the blender. And then it becomes a sale. And then you can eat it. And why would you eat sea moss? Uh, because it's good for your body. It grows your limbs very longer. Yeah, the inside of your limbs. Wait, well, like yeah. Uh, well, I just need to make it a little more bigger, just to make sure. So, sea moss grows your limbs very long. What else does it do to your body? Uh, it makes your body very strong and healthy. I told you to eat when it's a sale. It's a gel. When it's a gel. I told you to eat it when it's a gel. And it's actually when it's still on water or not dry or dry. Right? It's still not good to eat like that. So it needs to become a gel. So that it doesn't, you know, go away and it just rub, rub. Okay, I think that's already. Oh no! Do you like sea moss? Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to eat. 